What's going on guys? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video we're discussing quickly about a link that you're continuously sending me on the comment sections about an iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak project called Nalu. So we're going to get into it right now, what it is and what you should expect. It's created by um, OSX user and it's called Nalu935. And um, it is stated as a uh, incomplete iOS jailbreak for 32-bit devices created by iOS user here and let's make 32-bit iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak for all 32-bit devices. And he says it's using iOS 9.3.5 uh, code signing bypass by Luca Tedesco. Now, um, a lot of you have been sending me this link, especially because it contains this part from Luca Tedesco, which is, um, as you can see in here, is a um, an iOS 9.3.5 code signing bypass that was um, actually fixed in iOS 10. So um, at first I've been getting back and forth with the um, creator of this project page and I want to tell you that no, it is not fake because this is what a lot of you have been asking me, being it, being it an incomplete project, a lot of people probably understood that it, it is not a released jailbreak and no, it is not a jailbreak, you cannot download it yet. But a lot of you have been asking me whether it's fake or whether you should put your hopes into it. Well, as I said, I've been getting back and forth with OS6 user, uh, this um, this guy has a Twitter, and um, I thought at first that uh, Nalu is actually a copy of Brandon's um, iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak that was fake, and unfortunately uh, for Brando, it is not. So uh, this guy right here really started a project. He is learning currently. He knows a lot of things about the OS 6 and iOS, but he's currently learning and trying to um, to build this project. It's not a uh, complete project. It's not working for the moment. It has a planet support and so on. And he is planning to use uh, Luca Tedesco's uh, exploit for code sign bypass on iOS 9.3.5. Uh, and therefore, it is not fake. So. Uh, why I'm making this video? Just to let you know about this thing, because a lot of you have been, as you can see from the screen right now, from the comments, uh, have been sending me comments on my comment section about this, because I know a lot of you are interested in an iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak for 32-bit devices, and yes, this is one of the proje projects we should keep in mind. But for the moment, from what I know, the uh, author can't really... Um, release it because it's not working yet. It's still working on it, he is still learning iOS, he is still uh, trying to create it, but looking over the source code, I've been taking, I've been taking a little bit of time and uh, I've been looking a bit on the um, on the code and he is actually doing a good job for the moment. I really hope he will make it uh, one day into a uh, real jailbreak and uh, I'm really glad it, it, it is not just another fake uh, project, fake uh, thing forked from another fake and so on like Yalu 103 about which we discussed in one of my videos in here. Uh, let me find it. Yeah, in this video we discussed about another project on GitHub that was Yalu 103 but unfortunately that was a complete uh, fake. Well, not the project itself, the project was still something created by somebody who didn't plan to release it, but the IPA generated uh, apparently from that project by somebody else, apart from the author of the project, was completely fake. Um, the great thing on this case is that this Nalu project is not fake, it's a real project. I do not know whether the author is going to continue it or if he he will ever accumulate uh, enough knowledge to make it into a full jailbreak, but to make things clear once and for all and hopefully to not receive comments about Nalu anymore until we get anything concluded about it, um, this is not a fake project and OS6 user is not a fake guy making a fake jailbreak. It's just a project, you can follow it, uh, it's based on Luca Tedesco's code sign uh, bypass exploit and therefore it's something we should keep in mind for uh, the future. I, I mean, uh, being based on Luca Tedesco's uh, exploit, it has already a very important part of the uh, of the jailbreak. It, that's why it's an incomplete iOS jailbreak. So yeah, we should definitely keep it in mind. I'm going to store it to have it in here on my personal um, bookmarks. But yes, for the moment it's not a jailbreak you should use. A lot of you have been asking me what happened with the iOS 9.3.5 from the fried apple team. Well, 
Unfortunately, they didn't seem to have released it, probably from various reasons, or probably they don't have it, or probably uh, they changed plans, I do not know. But um, I, I couldn't even find the presentation that they held, because they did held a presentation at Black Hat about an iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak untethered, how to create a jailbreak, how to find exploits, how to use them, what to attack on the kernel, and so on. So they are definitely having the knowledge to build a jailbreak. I do not know their plans, probably they will release it, probably they don't, I do not know. I will keep you informed, of course, subscribe to stay updated and I will keep you informed, but for the moment there is no iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak. I'm pretty happy that Nalu exists and that somebody really puts a little bit of effort into learning how to build an iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak and um, I'm really happy that he already has something to start with and that being iOS 9.3.5 code signing bypass exploit which is very important created by Luca Tedesco. Hopefully somebody will join him uh, and help him and probably he will get it into a jailbreak but for the moment no there is no jailbreak for this iOS version. I really hope I made things clear once and for all. If you want to check out Nalu's um, source code it's in the description down below and yes it is something you should consider but do not Put your hopes into it as, as it is just a project for the moment. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow. Subscribe to stay updated on anything that happens and peace out.